Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to come on while I'm cooking because I am bored. I'm in the house by myself and I'm cooking for my meals for next week, which consists of my green salsa, which is salsa verde, um, which tomatillo, so you use those. Um, I've done the vlog on that before. But I just want to come on and basically talk to you guys because I don't have anyone to talk to. So I'm going to talk to you guys. So why don't you tell me how your Thanksgiving was? What did you do? Who cooked? Whose house did you go to? You know, just the normal stuff. Um, as for mine, well, I actually cooked the sweet potatoes for my mom. Um this year and I made my husband made a um, cheesecake and the cheesecake was different than I've had it before he made it with the cookie dough the bottom of it and then um, the Philadelphia cream cheese and the uh, the milk sweet milk so, I didn't really eat too much dessert. I did have a good plate of food, though. I will tell you that. It wasn't as big as I usually get every year because I know that I'm on a weight loss journey. So, um, I wanted to kind of maintain my weight. I didn't want to gain any more weight, um, seeing that I've actually been working so hard to try to get the weight off. So that's why I did the before Thanksgiving weigh-in and then the after Thanksgiving weigh-in so that I could see basically where I stood. So anyway, um, today on the menu, which I've cooked this thousands of times with you guys, it's like I said, the salsa verde, uh, the Spanish rice. And I'm making some more black beans for hubby because he want, he wanted some more. And he said he loved the ones that I fixed last time. And I may show you how. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I showed you how I fixed them the last time or not. So, I don't know. Maybe the next video. I fix it a lot, so. We like what we like. Plus, it's good for us. It's healthy. Everything is from scratch, so. I'm not adding any, you know, any additional preservatives or sweeteners or anything that's making it fattening. So, we're eating pretty healthy. Um, like I said, my salsa, I eat every day. My diet plan or my, I don't want to call it a diet plan. My, I guess you could say my um, palate for food is not that wide as of yet. But I'm learning to branch out uh, and try different things. And I'm, I'm very picky. And at first, there was no way you could get me to eat a tomato. Even though I like tomato ketchup. I like tomato sauce. I like spaghetti sauce. But for me to actually put something or put this in something that I'm cooking and eat it. No. Or this, an onion? Oh no. Or this, cilantro? Never. And whoever would have thought I would have eaten tomatillos and serrano peppers? Not me. So, it's an experience and um, it's a healthy way of doing it. I don't buy anything that is in the can nor do I buy anything frozen for myself and I very seldom eat meat so I think that's one of the ways that I've been able to lose the weight <clears throat> uh, so quickly and also um, I guess because I only eat one meal a day which is lunch so I usually have my two shakes I was saying, and 
one is for breakfast and then I have another one for dinner and then in between that I'll eat a banana as a snack and then I will have lunch which I usually eat lunch around when I'm at work it's usually around 2.30, 2.45 right before I get off and uh, I'm not really hungry so it's, it's satisfying I eat the rice, I eat the tor tortilla chips and I'll show you the chips let me show you the chips real quick I'll rinse those off in a minute when I make my Spanish rice these are the chips that I get right here. I get them from the Mexican store and they're gluten free so which that's good and it says that they're 140 calories for I guess about it's per serving but it doesn't say it says it's 16 servings in here so I'm not really sure how many chips that is and then there's two grams of protein the sodium is only 49 milligrams which is 2% so it's not really that bad I'm not getting a lot of sodium in my diet which is good so that's one of my staples that I keep in the house instead of making my own chips from scratch and using grease I just buy those it's cheaper and it's faster and it is what it is so What I want to do, I guess, I'm going to open this video up to you guys. Um, as you know, my channel is geared towards a lot of different things. Cooking channel, it's a cooking channel. It is a weight loss channel. It is a product review channel, um, like the Ninja and stuff like that. <clears throat> I was thinking about actually doing a separate channel for each one, but I'm not really sure. That would be a lot to do. So I, I do a lot on this channel. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I? Should I not? So I'm going to finish rinsing off my tomato for my salsa. <clears throat> These are my serenio peppers. I'm going to put in there. Alright. So, anyway. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a moment. It's basically just checking in with you. See how your holiday was for Thanksgiving. What you did. And just to get your input about if you think I should do a separate channel for each of the items or topics that I, I vlog about. Let's see my black beans. Here are, and I hope you can see these. Let me pull them up to you. These are my black beans. As you can see. Yeah, you can see that. Those are my black beans. And I'm going to cook those in just a moment. They've been soaking for a while. So yeah, they're about ready to go on. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. So let me know what you think. Should I do a separate channel for each of those items weight loss um, product reviews cooking channels recipes whatever you have it um, just let me know what you think and tell me how your holiday was so I guess I'll keep you long enough and I'll let you go so I can finish cooking talk to you guys